have seen this many species in one place since our dinosaurs ate a Z picnic. Yeah, I'm so excited. This is going to be the best day ever. Follow me, kids, to homeroom for your orientation. Orin and Ollie! Ooh. Hey, buddy. Hey, Tiny. Hey, Shiny. Hey, Don. I'm so glad you guys are here. This is going to be great. I can't wait to find out more about dinosaurs. Yeah, buddy, you're going to be the best. We'll just hang around you and ask for the answers. <laughs> I've always really loved learning dinosaur facts. The names, the species, the features. It's kind of Buddy's thing. Buddy's a dinosaur fact superstar. Yeah, today's going to be the best day ever. Hello, I'm Tiny Pteranodon. I'm Dennis. I'm a Dinochirus. I come from the Ornithomimosaur family of theropods. An Ornithomimosaur? We are too! Of course, but you're Ornithomimus. We have very different features. I'm bigger and have way longer arms. You can run faster than me. <laughs> we can run really fast! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen horns. That's the most horns of any ceratopsian. There's a velociraptor. They have three inch long claws on their hind feet. Wow! I like that kid. He knows a lot about dinosaurs. Hey, just like you, buddy. Thank you, Gilbert. Everyone be seated. What are the most important jobs of a conductor on the dinosaur train? Yes, buddy? Knowing dinosaur facts! Well, yes! Being a knowledgeable guide around the Mesozoic is especially important. And do you know what's also important? Making the passengers comfortable and providing the best possible train ride experience. You see, it's about diversity. Knowing the differences between the dinosaurs so you can make them all comfortable together. For example, you can't put a Dreadnoughtus in the passenger coach because... The seats are too small. Are too small. And even when I've got Mr. Dreadnoughtus on board in the quadruped car, I also need to make sure he's going to the correct time period. If he was going home, he'd be going to... The, the early, early Cretaceous. Cretaceous. Everyone knows that. I don't. Well, now I do. Correct! All righty then, let's test our knowledge of dinosaur diversity. Now, let's put each dinosaur into their correct group. <laughs> wow, that was really fast, Dennis. Yes, I know. If Mr. Corythosaurus wants to visit his friend, Mr. Ornithomimus, what station would he stop at? <gasps> Ornithomimus Orchard Station. Correct. And which dining car would Mr. Corythosaurus sit in on the way? <gasps> Herbivore. Correct again! <sighs> okay, kids, let's break for recess outside in the Academy Courtyard. You can all mingle and talk about what you learned. Buddy, you don't seem very happy. <sighs> I guess I'm not. But we're at the Junior Conductor's Academy. I thought this would be the best day of your life. That's just it, Tiny. I thought so, too. Instead, I'm kind of... What? I don't know. It's just hard when you find someone who's way better at something than you are. You mean Dennis? Theropod, herbivore, hadrosaur, quadruped, ornithomimid, pachycephalosaur. Wow! I thought Buddy knew all about dinosaur diversity. But Dennis, he's amazing. La la la. Dinosaur, once upon a time, there was a mom. Her name was Mrs. Pteranodon. Sitting on her nest, she heard a scratching and said, Oh boy, my eggs are hatching. One by one.